Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Amen. The word of God we want to consider today is again our epistle reading for this past Sunday, which was our Epiphany Sunday. Day we think of the wise men coming to worship the infant Jesus. We're looking at Ephesians chapter 3, verses 2 to 12, where the Apostle Paul wrote, Surely you have heard about the administration of God's grace that was given to me for you, that is, the mystery made known to me by revelation, as I have already written briefly. In reading this, then, you will be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to men in other generations, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to God's holy apostles and prophets. This mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel, members together of one body, and sharers together in the promises, in the promise in Christ Jesus. I became a servant of this gospel by the gift of God's grace given me through the working of his power. Although I am less than the least of all God's people, this grace was given me to preach to the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make plain to everyone the administration of this mystery, which for ages past was kept hidden in God, who created all things. His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. According to his eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus, our Lord. In him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. My dear friends in Christ, the mystery of Christ which has been revealed to us, it is something so valuable and so precious that Surely what we're going to do is we're going to want to make every effort we can to spread it out to the world, well, through our own personal witness, with family, friends, acquaintances, and also get it out into all the world through our financial support, through the offerings that we give to our church and to missions. Well, that's the task that God gives to us that mystery of the gospel, that mystery of Christ, it's something that needs to be proclaimed. Paul said, this grace was given me, to Paul, to preach to the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Paul continues, God's intent was that now through the church, through us believers, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to let everyone know, as Paul says here, that in Christ our Lord and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. And now what a great message that is. What a great message that is. Even though we're sinners who by nature would have to be scared to death of God, well, through faith in Christ, what it says here is that we can approach God with freedom and confidence. We can go to God boldly in prayer with our requests and petitions and, of course, also our thanksgivings. And we can look to him and we can know that our sins are forgiven, that we're heirs of heaven, that we're going to heaven because of what Christ has done for us. However, God hasn't revealed to us the mystery of Christ so that we would keep it a secret, so that we could keep it to ourselves. He reveals to us the mystery of Christ, the mystery that needs to be proclaimed. He reveals to us that message so that we can go to others and tell others, let them know about the love of God in Jesus Christ. Let them know about the forgiveness of sins and the eternal life that's certain for us through faith in Jesus. He wants us to let that be made known. 
Well, when the wise men, when they finally arrived in Bethlehem at the house where Mary and Joseph and, and Jesus were staying, what did they see? They saw what appeared to be an ordinary baby boy, infant boy, infant boy. Jesus didn't look like a Jewish king. He wasn't wearing royal robes. He didn't have a halo over his head, nor did Mary for that matter. Jesus didn't look like the world's savior, but the Holy Spirit had revealed to those wise men that that's who Jesus was, the newborn king of the Jews and their savior and their way to eternal life. So they worshiped him and after they left Bethlehem, they became his missionaries to who knows how many people. Well, like those wise men, the Holy Spirit has revealed to us the mystery of Christ that Jesus lived and died for us, that he paid for all of our sins, that he won for us eternal salvation. Through faith, we know that Jesus is the greatest gift that this world has been ever given. But the Holy Spirit hasn't told us to keep that mystery to ourselves. He doesn't tell us to keep that mystery to ourselves, despite the fact that it, it still is a mystery to so many people in the world. And because it is a mystery to so many people in the world, let's be like the wise men. And let's worship our Savior. Worship our Savior and be his witnesses, be his missionaries. The mystery revealed to us is for both Jew and Gentile. The mystery of Christ, it's for us and for all. And that mystery needs to be proclaimed by you and me to everyone. Amen. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we live in a sin-troubled world. Sadly, that fact seems to become clearer and clearer to us every day as we see the effects of sin in our world. Thank you for revealing the mystery of Christ, which is the mystery for both Jew and Gentile, that Jesus is the Savior of all and the answer to sin for all, so that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Help us to understand that that mystery needs to be proclaimed by us to everyone. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always.